What's going on guys, welcome back to 100% NUFC, I hope I find you really well. Fantastic result against Manchester United on Sunday. And we want to talk about the goal scorer, Matty Longstaff, and I'm joined by PD Proudlock. Peter, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing really well, thanks man. Nice one, nice one. So, we're going to talk about the future of Newcastle going forward, we're going to talk about the two Longstaffs. We've seen Sean Longstaff last season, and we've seen now Matty Longstaff score his first goal for Newcastle in the Premier League, a massive goal against Ooh. Manchester United, our first win of the season. And we've seen Matty Longstaff, who's only 19 year old, don't forget, play alongside his brother for the first time in a competitive Oof. match. Do you think now that this is the future of Newcastle United going forward, providing that Mike Ashley doesn't be a knob and gets rid of them both? It could well be, uh, to be honest, actually. I mean, that, them, him, that you couldn't have asked for a better performance from a lad at 19 years old as well. And it looks like he is now following in his brother's footsteps as well done well to come up the ranks through the academy as well which is what i like to see we need like to see these youngsters come up through the academy and get into first team football because it has annoyed me um when we've seen players just not get through them and they've been wasted and sent out for example it's happened to the likes of adam armstrong adam campbell players like them but i think you can tell that my long stuff he's definitely worthy of first team football now could have asked for a better performance on sunday and the way he took the game by the scruff of the neck as well. I mean, I know Man United are poor, but, oh, yeah. you know, he's playing under 52,000 fans, his age as well, and he's playing in front of the fans like he's done it for so long. And I've watched him through the under-23s, and Matty Longstaff has looked so confident on yeah, the ball. Sorry. And I'm thinking to myself, it's only a matter of time now before he gets a chance in the first team. And he just Definitely. took it. And you've seen the way he played against Man United in that first half, you know, hitting the crossbar. That was very, very unlucky. His head could have dropped, but in that 72nd minute in the second just half, thought, what a wow. finish. Oh, absolutely. And uh, this is now going to make it hard for the likes of Shelby, Key and Hayden to come back into the squad by the looks of it now, because it looks like the Longstaff brothers could well be the future now. And you cannot drop them for the next game against Chelsea after that brilliant performance. Uh, from them on uh, Sunday as well. It'd be crazy if Steve Bruce do that, and I'm going to give Bruce credit for giving it a try on sun on Sunday, and he got it right. So I'm really happy with that. As I've said before, I've been a big critic of Steve Bruce. I still am, and it was a fantastic mm. result against Manchester United. But fair play to him, you know, for giving both Longstaffs a chance. I was very shocked to see them both <laughs> in the squad, and you know, especially Matty Longstaff, given the occasion, given Man United, the form that they're in. And like I said before, when he scored at the Gallagate, you could see how much it meant to him. You know, he was kissing oh, the badge definitely. and scoring at the Gallagate. He's a North Shields lad. That would have meant a lot to him. He, he was getting big praise by the likes of Alan Shearer, Gary Neville, and that absolutely. says a lot. Well, absolutely, yes. It just shows that he wants to care for this football club, play for the uh, club, play for the badge, not just play and forgetting how much you're going to get a week and all that. That is also another great thing as well, to show that he cares and wants to be a long-term future of this football club as well. Not only that, Matty Longstaff, there's going to be some bumpy roads along the way. I mean, no, he's well, only 19. Will be. I mean, he is only 19, which is the thing. But, yeah, it'll definitely make the other centre midfielders have got a real hard opportunity. Because we're now, Bruce is now giving youngsters a chance. And that worked on Sunday. And you could have asked for more from them. It's not only that as well. You're seeing the likes of Sean Longstaff last season uh, making his debut, scored against Burnley. And you're thinking to yourself, Wow, like what a kid we've got uh, on the block here. Yeah. Definitely. And then you're seeing him like look for his brother uh, on Sunday and they've got a good understanding. And again, you're seeing Sean Longstaff linked with the likes of Man United for 50 million quid. So what's that saying about our academy at the minute? Yeah, it's not the best in terms of bringing players through. But what we need to do now, and Mike actually needs to understand is, we need to keep these for the long term and not sell them on. I know Mike Ashley is a retail guy and he, he thinks about the money. But for me, you've got to keep these. These are the future of Newcastle going forward. Absolutely, yes. I mean, local lads as well. That's another thing fans want to see as well. A lot of the time in teams, local lads playing. And uh, we, we got that on uh, uh, Sunday as well. And hopefully we can get more local lads playing and get ready for this first team in the future. That's what we need to do because this academy is not great. Where We've just wasted a lot of young talent and they've been leaving the club and they've gone out the lower league clubs on loan or permanent and yeah so things I, like I that. mean you've seen how poor Shelby's been and you've seen Matty Longstaff take that with both hands you know against Manchester United and as I've said before he's going to have games where it's not going to be easy for him but no, I think Steve be. Bruce in order to keep his job 
he's just got to keep playing these two lads, you know, in, in the games yes. and let them grow in confidence, let them Absolutely, work together yes. like they have been against Manchester United. And, you know, there's definitely a big future there. You've seen Andy Carroll come on, you know, in the last, what, 65 minutes, and he was really helping them, you know, go forward. He definitely as well. was. It wasn't, definitely wasn't working with like Joe Linton on, but Andy Carroll came on, given that extra bit. Another Jordy lad as well. Another Jordy lad as well, given that extra bit of support uh, for, for them as well. And, yeah, we need to see. They, we cannot, as I said, we cannot drop these two for the game against Chelsea. It would be crazy if Bruce did it, and yeah, it's not only that as well. Like if they continue playing the way they're going, I know it's early days, it but especially Sean Longstaff could get a run in the England team if Gareth Southgate actually, you know, doesn't overlook. Definitely could do. Got a real opportunity there as well. He's picking youngsters yes, as well. Yes, as well. So Absolutely, yes. That's what the league lacks a lot of the time. A lot of young talent. I, know, I think. But no, I, I definitely think the future's bright, uh, especially mm. with Matty and Shaw Longstaff. As long as Mike Ashley doesn't you know, sell them in the no, January or in the summer, not. I think these are the future going forward. And I think it's definitely. something we've been crying out for for a long time. Shelby now is going to find a heart to get back in the team. But anyway, that's just been Peter's thoughts about uh, Matty and Shaw Longstaff. You let me know your thoughts about Matty and Shaw Longstaff. Do they have a future at Newcastle United under Mike Ashley? And how well do you think Matty Longstaff performed against Manchester United? I think that's probably going to be his best goal that he ever scores for Newcastle in his career, unless he does anything better. Uh, going forward but like I say Sean Longstaff as well that link up play is absolutely fantastic it certainly is and uh, I think fans are going to get more excited about this as well anyway for now the future does look bright Steve Bruce continue to do what you're doing pick the same team against Chelsea let us know what you thought about the performance as well against Manchester United subscribe to PD product on YouTube link will be down below in the description if you are new to the channel please go along and subscribe as well we're trying to get a 2300 subscribers hit that like button as well if you enjoyed the video and all comments in down below. Follow me on social media, 100% NUFC on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll catch you all later. I'll be the lads.